Welcome back to another installment of my test automation. Today we are looking at how to use the factory mod to create mines. So what we have here is a relatively basic setup. We have uh, our two different mining machines. And then I'm just using a uh, vacuum node, some conveyor belts, pneumatic mover or whatever it was called, and a chest. And this is, this is the materials I've harvested so far. So first thing you will notice, likely notice, is that these do not require any outside power. Uh, they, have, they have no interface that can be accessed. <clears throat> My understanding from reading the code is that they can be toggled on and off with mesicons. However, I'm not using those, so we see nothing. Um, and you might be wondering why there's nothing coming out of these and that's because I uh, I already had these running for a while and I had them with the faces facing outward and then I realized oh that's gonna look really dumb if I'm starting it like this and you see the backsides of the quarries or the drillers or whatever they're called so yeah I flipped them around so they're not doing anything right now I mean they're running but they haven't picked anything up upgraded miner and industrial miner this one, I believe, digs a note every 4.8 seconds, and this one's every, like, 1.2, was it? 1.2, 1. 1. 1.8. So the upgraded miner is much faster than the standard miner. Um, so essentially what happens is when something pops out the top, the vacuum takes it, drops it onto the conveyor belt, conveyor belt moves it, conveyor belt moves it, through this little doodad right into the chest. Now, of course, you could also, um, as we have done over here previously, do all of your sorting. You know, you could, you could be like, nah, fam, I don't, I ain't got time for this. I got too much junk in inventory though, so this won't work. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we'll just throw out some of these and some of this and some of this. All of those, all of these. Man, I wish I could shift click to the garbage, but that would just go to the crafting grid. Uh, I can get rid of the battery packs and the cables because uh, I, I naively thought I needed those. And, and then I discovered, no, I don't. So what we can do is we can, uh, we can just, oh, actually, you know, I think I want to leave that there. And just go ahead and throw a miner here. Turn this guy on. Semi inefficient, sure, because it's doing all of this moving just to go to this. Let me uh, let me pull that junk out of there because we we really don't need that all going on. Oh look, we got some some cobble coming through. I don't know where that orange flower came from. Can't imagine there were flowers growing down there. That's kind of weird. Whatever. All right, we got another input here. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Mmm, doesn't work, doesn't work. Okay, let's see what happens if we pop it in here, though. Um, also doesn't work. That's disappointing. However, not to worry, my fine friends. There, There is a way around this. Um, I just need to... We don't want the autocrafter. There's a fan. Someplace there's a fan. Uh, I thought there was a fan. Here it is. Here it is. A wall fan. So, yeah, basically, we throw the fan there and we pop the quarry here. Let it do its thing. And the fan blows that several nodes over as soon as it shows up. Actually, it feels like it starts blowing it before it even shows up. Um, and there must already be some holes down here that it's just moving right back through. And you can see it puts down this, this bit. Did it actually get stuck because there was an entity floating there? It would appear as if that's exactly what happened, which may be why these other ones weren't working because there could be some entities buried in the bottoms of those. That'd be lame. But yeah, oh, this is also the slow version, so it takes very long. 
But yeah, so now we have our stuff sorted. I honestly don't know where that stuff was going. It's probably all ending up here. Yeah, it looks like it, but that's fine, whatever. These appear to be doing nothing. Let's go ahead and go on down. Now these will mine down 512 nodes is what they default to. Now, whether or not they'll actually do that, I don't know because you'd be out of the loaded map blocks by that point. It does really seem like it has gone quite deep though. So maybe it does work. I don't think I'm down 512 blocks though. No, I'm only down like 100. Why isn't this working? Do I have any torches on me? No, of course not. Because cause who would need a torch, right? Okay. Why is this not? Oh, it is. It is working. It just takes a while because that's the slower of the two. Our faster of the two is right here. Should be making progress. I hope. Let's let's try to find its it drill bit, drilling head. It's got to be nearby, right? Man, how am I so far away from it? Stupid gravel. There we are. I found it. Oh, and look, it's it's already quite deep. For some reason, it's lighting up down here. Wait, are you serious? I I went back over to the to the other one. I'm confused. Where is my Why did this stop? Excuse moi. Why are you no going? Interesting. I wish I had an answer as to why that has stopped working, but I don't. I really have no idea why that stopped. Like it still shows it's running. I don't I don't know I broke it. This is still working though. It's grabbing more orange flowers. Where are these flowers coming from? I'm so confused. Like, why are there flowers down here? For real. Um. Yeah, there's no way there should be flowers down here. I don't know where those flowers are coming from. Oh, wait, it looks like there's... Possibly some some junk nodes sitting around here that have been sitting here for a while. Maybe the vacuum is doing something funky. I don't know, but it would appear as if that's where they're coming from. So I'll just do a quick little cleanup job. Yes, please. I want you all gone. There we are. Should be fixed. Not should just be cobble. And yeah, that should all be going into this chest back here because it's not set to get sorted anywhere. And essentially that is... Oh yeah, that whole goofy thing. Essentially that is... Mining with the factory mod. Just a simple mining machine. Well, and you could you could go smaller, of course. You could just do the... The vacuum. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's try this. Uh, I, I need to try one that's actually working. You know what? No, I don't. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Okay, so we're going to put a chest. We're going to drop the, the vacuum right on top of it. And then we're going to shoot this right there. Oh, right there. That's running. Okay, this is running. Hole drilled. I should have done the faster of the two. Okay, so that does not work. So, so don't do that because that is a horribly, horribly bad idea and you will just make a mess. So evidently you do have to use at least one conveyor belt so you can throw it into the pneumatic mover and throw it into chests or sort it or do whatever. And that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode and I'll see you then.